scratch. Work, work, work. Hey, what's up? I'm Nick from Serato, and I'm going to take you through the bridge, which is the result of our first, uh, basically the first result of what we've been doing with Ableton and Serato the partnership there. So, uh, we'll take a look at the screen here for a second. It's regular Scratch Live. And then I've got Ableton open in the background. So I've got my clip window there, I've got my clips. If you're not familiar with Ableton, maybe for a Scratch Live user, think of it as like a super deluxe sample player. Uh, if you're not familiar with Scratch Live, it's basically turntable control over MP3s, WAV files, etc. So what we're doing with the bridge is we're putting the two together, so we bring the yeah, best of both worlds really. Uh, first thing I'll do is show you what we call the ATC, that's the Ableton Transport Control. Uh, what we've done is, to keep it familiar for Scratch Live users, it actually comes up as a track in your library. So I'll go to my find window, type in Ableton, and then I get the Ableton Live Transport Control track. I get the song name, is whatever set you have loaded at the time. So tap back to live, you can see Dance, dance Loops Demo Set. Dance Loops Demo Set. I'll load that up. So it appears in appears on the deck, or the deck, or the duck, or however you want to say it. You know, we're from New Zealand, so... And then I've got turntable control over Ableton Live. So, if I tab back to Ableton, you can see the transport control. And I'm triggering that with the turntable. So if I tab back to Scratch Live quickly, you can see the BPMs coming through. And I can of course manipulate that with the turntable, so I can chuck it on 45, pitch up and down. So that allows me to mix into a regular MP3. So I can have my you know my own productions, my samples all lined up on in Ableton and then mix into my regular DJ set. So that's the first part there. Now we thought that's pretty cool, but it'd be really nice if you didn't have to tab back and forth. So we have the Ableton window, which allows you to trigger your clips. Basically control all the important aspects of Ableton Live from within Scratch Live. So you can see through here I can I can solo my, my kick drum there. Go through solo, bring everything in. I can control the send and returns. Turn tracks on or off. Trigger different clips. So you get the idea there. Of course if you have a big Ableton clip window, session view, you can tap through it. Similar to like the APC where you can scroll through the back select. So that's basically mimicking the same things here. Now on the right we have the, uh, the Ableton device, so familiar with Ableton. You can load up, you know, countless an amount of effects per track. So for example, I might want to turn like a drum loop divider, some sort of uh, beat repeat on one track. And then I can actually access that from within Scratch Live. And of course it's all MIDI assignable. So. Okay, the next thing I'll show you is actually ejecting Ableton from the deck, which frees up the Ableton player. So if you look at the Ableton player here, if you're familiar with Scratch Live, you get internal mode, which basically gives you basic pitch control of Ableton, nudging, etc. and play. So that will allow you to just play your Ableton set in the background and still do your DJ stuff over the top, scratch, etc. Now the really cool thing is you can actually go to sync mode and that allows you to sync Ableton to the deck. So if I'm using the 57 here, I've got options 1 and 2. SR3 users can sync to decks 1, 2 and 3. And if you're using the new 68, you can sync to all, uh, any of the four decks. So that allows you to actually play back all of your audio files and then run Ableton in sync. So you can play loops over the top. I heard a good example yesterday, if you've got a track and the kick drum's a little weak, you could run like a 808 loop from Ableton over the top of that. So that's uh, what we call the first part of the bridge. So that's bringing Ableton into Scratch Live. Now I'm going to show you the second part. This is particularly cool for Scratch Live users, especially users of the 57 or the new 68. And that's called Mixtape. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'll do, I'll do a really quick little demo. So I open the record panel. I'll choose my input source like normal. So the 57 I have mix, aux, pre and post fader. But now with mix tape, you'll see the option of saving an Ableton Live set, like a .als. So I go through as normal. But uh, let's do something real quick, hold on a second. Start recording. So I can tweak all the EQs, I can do everything, anything that's on the 57 basically, I can tweak that. And then that's saving to the Ableton Live set. So I'll save that really quick. If you're familiar with Scratch Live, it goes into your uh, Scratch Live recorded folder, which is music, Scratch Live, recording. There's my Nick Scratch project, which in fact is an Ableton set. So let's open that up. And that's my mixtape, which I've just recorded, appearing in Ableton Live. So what you're seeing here is, at the top, I've got my program one. That's the pre-fader audio. Program 2, you see I loaded a couple of tracks in there, so that was the first thing I loaded. I loaded up the scratch sentence. There's my uh, EQ automation that I was playing with at the end. And then of course you've got all the crossfader automation. So as I was scratching, that's all my crossfader cuts as I'm going through. Then again, if, if you don't want to do that, you can, of course you have the option of having the mix. So that's the original uh, WAV file with all the post-fader cuts and things. So yeah, I guess the idea behind that is, you know, you, you do a mix, it's perfect all the way until minute 49, and you trigger an air horn one too many, or, you know, you do that one train wreck at the end, you can go back and correct it. So, that's the good stuff there, that's what I'm into. So that's, uh, that's mixtape. So just to summarize really quickly, we've got the Ableton Live Transport Control which gives you full control of Ableton Live. We've got the Ableton Window, which is the clip panel. And then we've got saving as a mixtape. And that's the bridge. Cool, so that's part one of what we're doing with Ableton. Plenty more to come, I'm sure. Thanks, Nick. No worries. Appreciate it.